goes around, comes around. Didier Drogba, I'm going to say it now, it is written in the stars. In football, you always have special moments that live on forever. Moments that define you. And then Ronaldo! Oh! What a goal by Cristiano Ronaldo! Moments that break you. Manisov saved it! United again! And moments... Moments that cement your legacy. After Jose's departure, in stepped Avram Grant as caretaker manager. In his first game in charge, Avram lost away from home to United 2-0 and followed that up with a 0-0 draw to Fulham. Avram, what did you make of your first day in charge of Chelsea? First, I'm very happy from the boys. They give a big fight today after, uh, after you know what's happened with us last week, after three games that we didn't uh, win. We are scoring goals, so I think they fight today and it was not easy game today. It wasn't the best of starts, but he was getting there. Now Chelsea found their form once again and continued to win games thanks to their heavy hitters, such as Frank Lampard, Didier Drogba and Nicolas Anelka. Chelsea and United were neck and neck at the top, only goal difference separating the two, and it all led to the final game of the season. Balak. Drogba! Oh, he's missed it! Maluda. Not a bad try. Oh, he's turned it against the bar, Al Hatsi. And Maluda, so close. Michael Ballack waiting to come in behind Alex. Oh, and I think he took it away from him. Joe Cole now. Shevchenko! Chelsea breakthrough! And it's Andrei Shevchenko! Stites has the ball for Bolton. United champions in every sense. Neatly worked. Clipped it towards Ronaldo! Manchester United strike first! And guess who? Clipped it towards Didier Drogba. Now he's still in the yard. Across the face of goal. Balak's there. Terrific save by Van der Sar. And he's Paul Scholes who heads behind. Ronaldo's early cross. Tevez could stop by Czech. Oh, it's Forrest Carrick. And a fantastic save by Petr Czech. It's working his area of the field, it'll come for Lampard and Chelsea the level! Never might just get to it ahead of Adelka, and here's Patrice Evra, he's got into the penalty area, pulled it back, oh, and somehow... And a red card for Didier Drogba for the slap. to John Terry to take the penalty. Oh, he's missed it! He's missed it! I think 
can clip the outside of the post on its way past. Ronaldo is reprieved. And Nicola Anelka, a Champions League winner with Real Madrid, with the responsibility of taking this key penalty. Anelka. Manisar saved it. United again. The newly crowned champions of England are the new champions of Europe. 2008. Now, after just eight months in charge and no trophy, Roman sacked Avram Grant. And in came Brazilian manager Luis Scolari. Now, there were some issues inside the club with the manager and the players. So, first of all, there was a language barrier as Scolari didn't understand or speak English that well. Second, he'd never coached a European club before, even with his experience. After a loss of confidence, a poor run of form, and doing bad in the league for Chelsea standards, Scolari was sacked in February after just only seven months in charge. A Dutch manager by the name of Hoos Hiddink was appointed as a temporary manager, and straight away, the players returned to their normal form and moved up to second in the league by March. In the Champions League though, Chelsea made it to the semi-finals after defeating Liverpool in the quarter-finals with an absolute thrilling second leg. Their next opponent, Chelsea will come up against the formidable Barcelona. This was the Guardiola team that was redefining modern football. During the match, Chelsea opened the scoring after just nine minutes with a thunderous volley from Essien. Now, Chelsea had chance and chance, but they just couldn't get through. But then they had several controversial fouls and decisions ignored by the referee. Shortly after that, Barcelona had to play with 10 men after Abidal was sent off for a challenge on Anelka. Now, you think after this, Chelsea would turn the game on his head and finish it off. But it was the complete opposite. Alves, can he find the right killer ball? Bojan was there. It's headed away by Terry. Eto broke from him. Now Chelsea had one last chance to save the match. Lampard crossed in the ball which got deflected onto Michael Balak, who volleyed the ball right onto Eto's arms, which was raised right in front of the referee. But nothing. It depends how people want to make it, but you understand 11 men that are trying to get to the semi-final when, when there's at least three clear penalties not given. I don't think you can really expect grown men to walk off and not say a word and whether it looks bad or not, nothing violent happened. It was just people that are disappointed not to get there and I don't think that question should be asked too much. I will, uh, this DDA shirt pulling is okay. We had Henry situation in Barcelona, okay. But there were three others situation that it was so clear and, and the boys feel, they feel, yeah, I shall not say what, what we really feel, but it's, uh, yeah, it's injustice the most controversial Champions League match I've ever seen. So close, but another season without that European trophy. And by the end of May, the team won their second FA Cup after Lampard's last minute strike. Hiddink left his time for another manager, Carlo Ancelotti, former Champions League winner. Ancelotti got the players ticking again after what had happened last season. Their players set their anger out on any opponent they could. They won their next four out of five games, smashing Wigan 8-0 on the final day and bringing the title back to West London. They backed that up with an FA Cup to achieve their first domestic double in history. Now Chelsea got through to the last 16 of the Champions League to face an old friend. And now by this time, the special one had found himself in Italy with Inter Milan to help them achieve their treble dream. The boys eventually lost to their former boss on both legs and swiftly exited out the competition. Another year with no European trophy again. Unfortunately for the Blues, Mourinho took his side all the way to the finals and won the whole thing. He achieved Roman's dream, but with another team. At the start of the new season, Chelsea had a good few run of games at the start, but it was a very rocky season. 
By the end of December, the Blues were sitting in fourth place, four points behind United. Then came the winter transfer market. The Russian boosted the squad and signs Brazilian defender David Luiz for 25 million and a record transfer fee of 58 million for the Spanish striker Fernando Torres. It was a very poor season for the Blues as they crashed out of the League Cup to Newcastle, knocked out of the FA Cup to Everton, and knocked out of the Champions League quarterfinals to Man United and coming second in the league. They didn't win a single trophy, and with some players having a lacklustre season, Roman sacked Ancelotti. Andre Villas Boas the Portuguese manager who was the youngest manager in history to win the Europa League. He came to make a change. What you expect from this club is to be, uh, is to be successful straight away and, uh, and I hope to be successful. I mean, our compromise is the same compromise with any top club, is, is, is to win straight away, uh, to win on a, on, a, on a weekly basis and, uh, and, and that's the challenge that I face. I mean, there's, there's nothing, there's no running away from that. I mean. Uh, uh, I would be surprised to, to, to be kept on the job if I don't win. In the summer, he brought in Juan Mata, Raul Morales, Thibaut Courtois and a young 18-year-old striker by the name of Romelu Lukaku. The change Villas Boas wanted would be a costly one, not in terms of signings but relationships with the senior players. He wanted to get rid of a few people whom he regarded as ageing players, the likes of Frank Lampard, Didier Jogba and Ashley Cole. The problem was, was that he tried to make a change while the senior players were still there and this would cause communication issues with the manager, the senior players and the new young players because the senior players didn't know where they stood and what he wanted from them as a team. Once the new year started was when the downhill began. On the 11th of February, after a 2-0 defeat to Everton, Chelsea dropped out of the top four. Now continuing their poor run of form, Chelsea were knocked out of the League Cup by Liverpool. Despite the internal problems in the team, Chelsea went through the group stage with ease, finishing top of the group. Then came their round of 16 tie with Napoli. The Portuguese manager left out crucial players in the team such as Frank Lampard, Michael Essien and Ashley Cole. Napoli won the match by three goals to one, leading Chelsea at a major disadvantage for the second leg. The team then went on to lose 1-0 to West Brom. Roman went on to do what he is notoriously known for and sacked the Portuguese manager. He appointed his assistant manager and former Chelsea player, Roberto Di Matteo, as caretaker manager. As the league was out of the bag and the race for top four was getting tense, Chelsea focused all their attention to the Champions League. They came back and won the tie thanks to goals from Drogba, Terry, Lampard and Ivanovic. Now after defeating Benfica in the quarterfinals, we're back in the semi-finals to face off against the Kings of Spain. And now, it's revenge time. Um, so it's, it's going to be a, a game where we obviously have to make sure that uh, we don't concede balls so we have to try and score a, a goal or two if we can to be able to go into second leg with a good result. Sanchez, the Chile international, and he finds Messi, and it goes back to him, and the save for Chile. And Chelsea get the lead in the way again, John Terry with the block. Danger here for Chelsea.
Sanchez finds Messi, and yes, the two is left, and he slips it through beautifully. Chelsea's hopes are crumbling here before the interval. And it's a lovely ball as well, a chance here. It's a goal! Ramirez arrives from nowhere to give Chelsea hope again. Ladies and gentlemen, we're at our final destination. This is their last chance at European glory. Our last chance. It's Roman's time to finally accomplish his dream. One night in Munich. Game on. Total respect for both these teams for eliminating clubs of the calibre of Real Madrid and Barcelona. Yeah, they won't have done it the easy way. I think everybody expected both of those clubs. Just about every task set for him since March. He doesn't know, we don't know, if he's got a chance of keeping his job, if he ever had a chance. I believe it is destiny in the home city. Through for Iron Robin, the shot on! shootout has been won by an English team. First penalty in the shootout, Lam, who just makes it. And they've beaten them. 
football club.